Hello guys and welcome to episode 37 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I'm your host Stefan Passion, also known as Infensia. That was a bit formal I think. I'll strike that and start over. Hello guys and welcome to this episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Today I'm going to be modeling uh, a little astronaut, uh, low poly of course, I'm, I'm going to keep that style going for a while longer and uh, a rocket, possibly, if I can squeeze that in. I might not even be able to do that, but I'll try. As you might know, last week I was a little bit under the weather, so I couldn't do the live stream, but I do feel better now, and I think uh, we're gonna go for it now on the 5th of September. So uh, get your calendar booked now. It's just a few days ago. <laughs> not a few days ago, what am I on? It's only a few days to go now. So on the 5th of September, six o'clock uh, CET, Central European time, I'm gonna be starting uh, my live stream and I'm gonna model as many characters as I can during 24 hours. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so join me then Saturday, 5th of September, this channel, 6 a.m. on uh, Central European time. If you're in Sweden, uh, Berlin, Central Europe, somewhere along that line, that's the time for you. Otherwise, check your time zone. Since I've been a bit ill, I've still been working the whole week. Uh, the kids have been off school for a little while, but they're back in school now. Apart from my son, he's a little bit rusty still. Hopefully he'll feel better soon, any moment now. I think it was just a cold. I guess those things still exist nowadays. This weekend, I had a lot of fun. I learned Bolt. I've had some requests in the comments, quite a few, to uh, look at Bolt and do... Because uh, I did a tutorial on Unity not too long ago where I did uh, some basic scripting and your very first step into making a game in Unity. And this time around, I've learned now how to do Bolt. So instead of doing that, I've actually did a little uh, prototype of a game without writing a single line of code. I'll show you here, actually. I recorded everything as usual, so... I including the blender modeling, the animation. I did this little uh, dragon this time around, which was quite fun. First time I've animated a flying dragon. Um, so I've got this little menu screen here. If I press play now, you can see I can uh, run, jump, can bump this dragon, collect some coins here. So uh, we've got this going. Oh, I can bump that one. So you can see obviously where I've uh, sort of borrowed the idea from. I just wanted to look a little bit at Super Mario and see if I could capture some of the basic mechanics there. So. I've, I've tried to make it really responsive like this. I want to have him punch up in the air when he jumps and then stretch his arms up when he falls down. And uh, really direct controls left and right is instant. Uh, jumping is pretty uh, instant and direct as well. Uh, you still can't do these things with uh, blocks, so I'm going to make those uh, breakable. But Let's have a look here now. I'll jump up here, collect some coins, kill some dragons, got some fire there. This one, yeah, bump on that one, collect some coins. Whoa, there we go. We'll combo scores maybe there. See if I can complete this level now. And see if I encounter any bugs. Bump there. Got some dragon fire there. That's a particle system. Made it low poly, so... <laughs> but with some em emission now, so it glows and bloom. Uh, this is using the UDP... No, the Universal Render Pipeline as well. You can bump this dragon now and collect that coin. Otherwise you wouldn't have reached it. So it's using the Universal Render Pipeline. So that will be included in the video as well. And then let's just bump that one and this one. And I think this is pretty much it that I made for it. That was the end of the level as well. Failed to complete it. Again, I, not a single line of code. So sorry to all you programmers out there, including myself. I actually lo love writing scripts. But it was a lot of fun doing this because um, it was quite easy to like encapsulate certain features. So if you look here, what I've got. Let's start with this take damage, for example. And this is a very simple one. So you, you just uh, right click and do, uh, you search for what you need or you browse through this thing. And then you have bas basically, I say basically a lot. Uh, so input here and you get a variable called health. So that one, you subtract the damage amount and then you set the variable health again. So that's when you take damage. Here's uh, take fire damage. We have on particle collision. And then uh, it'll uh, just for every single particle that hits you, it'll uh, deduct one uh, damage amount from your uh, health. Uh, you also have these uh, little state machines. So this is for all the livable things or living things. Uh, it's a state machine where it goes into alive and it stays alive until it dies. <laughs> and you can set these little things here. So if health is zero, so if health is uh, less or equal to zero, then uh, you're gonna kill it. It's gonna transition. And uh, you can also check if the character fell out of the world. So I'll do a get position here. I'll see if it's uh, Y is below a certain value. And if it is, then I'll also trigger this transition. Okay, let's model ourselves a little uh, astronaut. Let's start with that. Low poly astronaut. Go, and we're off. I'm going to duplicate this cube in case I get a rocket made in the end. Tab into edit mode A to scale it down. Move it up to there. I'm going to make a cartoon style character, so... In case you didn't know, <laughs> scale Y. Let's do auto mirror here. 
and control R loop cut that one maybe two times. Move this one up to here. Um did I do that? Yep. Uh, I to inset front view. G to move it down a little bit. Rotate G. E to extrude it. I'm gonna make some uh, bulky legs here. Scale E to extrude. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. And big feet. I want to my ca cartoon characters here to have scale zero. Big feet. <laughs> e to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. Big feet. Like lead weights. I don't know why you'd have lead weights on them. Uh, and as usual, I get the legs way too Y wide. So I'm gonna squash them a bit. And here, let's get some bulky feet out. There we go. And let's do some arms here as well. Get that one up slightly. And I to inset, scale Y, front view, G to move it, E to extrude, S to scale. And then same thing with the arms here, bulky, chunky arms. S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. And then classic palm hand now. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, S to scale on the Y axis, E to extrude, leave the space with a thumb, and E to extrude. How am I doing? 8 to 25. Okay. Let's get uh, a head going here as well. So uh, I to inset, B to get the boundary. Move that one up a little bit. And now I'm going to make a head. So I'm going to select uh, this edge, Shift S, cursor to selected, tab out of that one, Shift A, add, uh, let's add a cube again. Tab, scale it down. I'm going to make quite a big head because it's going to be a cartoony. Did I say that? Cartoony? <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> About five times. Tab, Control 2 to subdivide it. Should I do? Yeah, Control 2. Now let's apply that one. Tab, and scale it up a little bit again. I want a big head. That's it. Okay, and uh, let's do auto mirror on that one. So that one's split as well. Select that one and that one, and then Control J to join them. Now I have to fix the UVs. So L to select the linked. A, S to scale it to zero there. Make the that one black, like an astronaut helmet. And here I'm going to split this one now, like this, and then, let's see, Alt S to scale it, to make it a little bit rounder. But this one I want to be uh, up, so let's uh, do uh, vertex snapping, hold the control key, move it on that axis, and snap to that one. And then here I'm going to link these now, so I'm going to, let's see, select, shift select these, delete these faces, and then I'll uh, select Ring select this with Shift Alt, right click and do bridge edge loop to connect those. So now the head is connected to the body. And uh, let's do um, this. I'll hold the control key and just bulk select a lot of these. I'm going to make this white again. Uh, okay, Shift select those then, apparently. Uh, scale zero on that one, get it to white. Let's do. Alt E and extrude long face normals like that. Okay, I actually want these as well then. If I if I get to choose, I'm gonna actually pick these as well. It was a bit too too half half there, so maybe like that. Alt E, extrude long face normals, control plus, scale zero for the UVs on the left here, move it to white. And then here I'll have to move these up a little bit because they're like that. Let's just make something like that. Okay, let's make a... How am I doing? 559. Let's make a backpack here. Uh, or before that, I want to colorize... Make a waist. Um, I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. Alt select on that edge. Scale it down. Move it in. Okay, and now I'm going to alt shift select a bunch of these. And I want to make these darker. So it looks... Like it's uh, sh shaded or something. And this one, this one, this one. And Alt Shift I'm pressing now to loop select the, all of these and then move that to black as well. And now let's do Control R and do a. Okay, I don't really want to do that. Um, what do I want to do even? We'll move these out. Control R here. Right click and then Alt S to expand that one a bit. Bring that out. Let's do Control R, Scale Z0 to flatten that. <clears throat> Get some soles on this. And here, maybe a little bit rounded chest. How am I doing? Four minutes fifty. What am I doing here? 
that's okay, I think. And now let's make a backpack as well. Shift D to duplicate that face, scale it down, scale it on the x-axis. Um, actually make it bigger again. Gotta make this as a separate one. Um, e to extrude that one and make it wider. And e to extrude it down, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale, maybe something like that should do. Okay, uh, and again, I want this uh, low poly look here, so I'm gonna keep it like this. And um, okay, and uh, maybe you should. Do I've got four minutes uh, to go here. Let's make a rocket as well. I always make the arms too long, don't I? Alt Z, make them a little bit shorter. I always tend to do that. Okay, that's it. Now let's make a rocket as well. Shift space G. Get this one moved to the side. I'm gonna be Apollo inspired. My son will uh, hate me for this probably because <laughs> I'm not gonna make it look like Apollo. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a fun version of Apollo instead, I think, because I'll fail to make the real one. Control R for a few loop cuts there. And then let's shift select all of these and do F3 circle. Uh, that's the loop tools add on. And then uh, I'm just gonna go front view here, move it. I can't remember, unfortunately, what Apollo looks like now, so I'll just have to wing it. E to extrude, E to extrude. I think it's got some sections like this. E to extrude goes narrower. E to extrude. Maybe like that. I'll put some extra links in here. Uh, like that. Sorry for Apollo lovers. This is not going to look like it. And it's not even going to fit in the tip here, but it's okay. Again. Sorry if you are a fan of Apollo. And sorry, son, if I'm disappointing you now. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Okay, let's do... Uh, I think alt select these uh, and then I think these are multicolored as well. So alt alt select that one, alt select this, alt select these, and then let's do the top here as well somewhere. I don't know which one, <laughs> maybe like that. And then F3 checker, checker deselect, and then shift click that one, F3 checker deselect, F3 checker deselect, F3 checker deselect, and then color those black. Make it a little bit, a little bit like Apollo. I've got 225. Okay, how should I do here? I'll control R here. Let's do some, uh, I think it's got fins here. I to inset that one. Uh, period and do individual origins, comma and do normal. Scale Y to make those thinner. And then Alt E to extrude long face normals. And I have to move this whole thing up. Alt Z one to get the vertex, vertices. That's it. Alt Z. Let's select the tips here now. Should be a faster way to do that. Maybe move it down to. Oh, I still have. Uh, I need to switch to global there. Okay, and itchy nose. Uh, now I need to do um, some uh, thrusters. So Shift D to duplicate that. Scale it down. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. L to select the linked, G to move it to black. I've got 128 to go. Is that too big? Yeah, probably. So I'll scale it down a little bit. And here, let's do, uh, scale it down even more. And here, let's do an indentation for the flame mount as well. E to extrude. Oh, you won't really see this, so that should be right. Okay, control seven to C bottom. <clears throat> Losing my voice here. Shift D, duplicate that one, shift D. Okay, this is not gonna be exact, so. No time to use array modifiers or anything. Or, actually, I want to do this for it. Uh, 55 seconds, okay, because I think it's got these things coming out here. So G to move that on. And here I want to do the top selection here. E to extrude as the scale. It's got these weird cone looking things. <clears throat> so I'll do that. <coughs> 35 seconds, okay, control seven. Shh. Shift D to duplicate. Shift D to duplicate. And Shift D to duplicate. Uh, 23 seconds. Okay, let's do uh, some more here. Maybe just like that. And I won't have time to write anything on it, so. Ah, uh, come on. Alt select. Escape. Why have I got some weird selection thing going there? Yeah. Like that one. Control that. that. That's it. Time's up. Dismiss. We've got a, a problem with this astronaut now. First of all, I, again, apologies for uh, Saturn V lovers. 
of the rocket. This looks nothing uh, like it. It's got all the wrong stuff on it. Okay, so we've got probably an issue here that this astronaut now, if I move it, he's meant to fit inside this capsule up here. He's going to have a tight squeeze. But the beauty thing is uh, there's a key called uh, S to scale. So, well, you could just make it bigger. And you could also, if you wanted to make it cartoony instead. So if this is too much of a fail for the real rocket, select it. Tab 8, select every. What is this thing that I've got enabled? I've got this... Uh... Oh, I clicked on this one. Loop cut. Hmm. What a noob. So, so this is what I could have done. Uh, if you want to make it cartoony, maybe you just uh, move it down like this. Move that down. I could have scaled it, but I didn't really want to scale the the coney parts here. So you could just squash it down like this. And still have it look a little bit like a Saturn V, but maybe you could make it a little bit more fun looking like this. So this might be a little bit more of a cartoony Saturn V rocket. That's going to be it for this week, guys. I'm going to leave it there. And the quick tip this week is going to be come back on Saturday and watch my live stream. It'll be a lot of fun to have you in the chat. Maybe I'll uh, be modeling so many characters. I'll be fed up with it after that. Imagine 24 hours of character modeling. I have no idea how I'm going to cope with that. But it's going to be a lot of fun anyway. So come back on Saturday and let's do some modeling. Until then, have a great one. And I'll see you soon again.